Welcome fellow adventurers to our channel. We're delighted to have you here today for another exciting video. In today's episode, we have a treat in store for you. Get ready to explore the realm of Skyrim like never before with an incredible lineup of new mods and outfit combinations. We've scoured the modding community to handpick the best creations that will enhance your gameplay, improve immersion, and unleash your imagination. First and foremost, allow me to introduce you to Blubos' mods. Currently, my Skyrim's tree environment generally uses Blubbo's mods a lot, so I always tries to introduce his new mod. Let's begin with the Shrub Replacer. This mod revamps the shrubs in the world of Skyrim, aligning them with Blubbo's vision of vibrant colors and intricate mesh objects. However, it's crucial to consider the compatibility between Blubbo's shrubs and the grass mod you're using. Different grass mods may vary in colors and mesh objects, so it's advisable to assess the harmony between the shrubs and nearby grass before deciding whether to apply the mod. It's worth noting that achieving visual coherence between the shrubs and grass will significantly elevate the overall aesthetics of your Skyrim environment. Next, let me introduce you to the mod called Blobos Deity Twins of Arche. This mod enhances the Skyrim landscape by adding majestic trees dedicated to Arche in the tundra, serving as both an accent and a shrine. These trees are grand and awe-inspiring, but their branches don't extend widely. They bring a unique and majestic feel, resembling ancient trees that could be found in any MORPG. The thick, towering trunks and compact foliage create a distinct atmosphere. If you find the conventional pyramid-shaped trees in Skyrim monotonous, this mod offers a refreshing way to adorn your Skyrim environment. If you've grown tired of tree mods that overly sprawl their leaves, the Blubbo's Deity Twins of Arche mod allows you to diversify the appearance of trees in Skyrim. Next, let me introduce you to the Blubbo Solitude 2023 Inches mod. This mod brings Blubbo's style trees to Solitude, enhancing its overall aesthetics. If you have a preference for Blubbo's style trees and wish to add trees to Solitude, I highly recommend this mod. In my experience, it didn't significantly impact the frame rate. However, I encourage you to try it out and assess its performance on your own system. The addition of beautiful trees complements the stonework of the entire city, transforming Solitude into a more magnificent and captivating place. It's worth mentioning that this mod also provides patches for compatibility with the Solitude JK and Your Pines mods, ensuring a seamless integration with your existing Skyrim setup. Next up, I'd like to introduce a mod called NPC Stuck in Bleed Out Fix. This mod addresses a bug where NPCs can become stuck in the bleed out state despite having full health. Sometimes NPCs get stuck in the bleed out state with full health and remain that way indefinitely until they are unloaded. This means you can't interact with them and healing them doesn't work because they are already at full health. The NPC Stuck in Bleed Out Fix mod provides a solution by allowing you to bring these NPCs out of the bleed out state if they have enough health. You can activate them to initiate this process. Additionally, if an NPC doesn't have enough health to exit the bleed out state, you can still talk to them using this mod. It's important to note that this mod is an ESL file and doesn't conflict with other mods, ensuring a seamless integration into your game. The mod I'm going to introduce this time is the NPC Stuck in Bleed Out Fix. This mod addresses a bug involving NPCs getting stuck in the bleed out state. The next mod I want to introduce to you is MIF Mu Impact Framework. This mod is a framework for a mod called VFX, which is being created by the creator AP05. It was originally made to add extra impact effects while keeping the original impact effects when attacking actors with existing weapons. It works by creating an INI file in the SCSI plugin's Mu Impact Framework folder and setting the conditions. It also says that there may be other impact mods based on new impact framework besides the VFX that is under development. So if you are interested in creating impact-related mods, you should pay attention to this framework. Next up, introducing the Deadly Combat 2023 Edition mod, a revamped version of the original Deadly Combat mod. This updated edition focuses on optimizing the combat experience in Skyrim Special Edition by utilizing the latest technical developments in SSE modding. The mod aims to enhance combat by increasing its pace, making player skill more crucial, and creating a more impactful look and feel. 
While the scope of the mod has been slightly reduced compared to its classic version counterpart, several key features remain intact. Staggering in combat has been enhanced, allowing characters to visibly react and cancel their current actions when hit by unblocked attacks or unwarded spells. Timed blocking offers more effective defense, rewarding well-timed blocks with reduced damage and stamina cost refunds. Similarly, timed warding reflects spells back to their original casters when timed accurately. The mod also includes scripted changes to combat AI, altering NPC behavior in combat. NPCs may employ blocking tactics, perform quick dodges, or sprint to roll to close the distance when faced with ranged attacks. Additionally, if the player is riding a horse, opponents are more likely to target the horse instead of the player. These AI enhancements complement other mods that modify combat styles. Furthermore, the mod introduces interactions between magical ward spells and physical attacks. Wards now function similarly to shields, reducing damage, increasing the block skill, and depleting stamina when melee attacks collide with the ward. Well-timed warding can even register as a timed block, although it can be challenging due to the longer casting animation of ward spells. Additionally, arrows and crossbow bolts from enemies facing the player will no longer cause damage when a ward is active, visibly bouncing off the ward. And please note that the Deadly Combat 2023 Edition mod focuses on combat improvements and does not alter damage, stamina, or armor values. For adjustments in these areas, the mod author recommends other compatible mods. Enjoy the enhanced combat experience offered by this mod and embark on thrilling battles across the realm of Skyrim. Today's featured outfit, presented by Kanervan, is the Seolbim outfit. Seolbim is a traditional Korean costume, typically worn and adorned during the celebration of Korean Lunar New Year. The outfit consists of a harmonious blend of blue and white colors. It features a dress with a tied strap at the back and a floral pattern on the sleeves. The ensemble also includes a wig with floral decorations at the back, securing the hair with pins. The high heels complement the outfit with a blue floral design. Notably, the transparent half-sleeves create an impressive visual effect, showcasing a glimpse of the arms. The creator skillfully captured the texture and transparency, despite the challenge of portraying it in clothing. The outfit exhibits excellent physics for the top and bottom parts. However, it's important to note that it only supports body slides for CBBE 3BA and does not include support for other body types. It is recommended for players who are interested in exploring traditional Korean and Eastern-inspired attire. Embrace the beauty of Seolbim outfit and delve into the world of Korean traditional costumes and Eastern fashion. Thank you for joining us on this modding adventure. We hope you've been inspired and are excited to embark on your own modding endeavors. Remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with the latest Skyrim mods and content. As always, stay adventurous, stay modded, and may your journeys in Skyrim be filled with endless wonders. Until next time, fellow Dragonborns.